Hey guys, Adam from Sleep HQ here today. I wanted to do a quick video just walking you through the process of uploading your files into Sleep HQ. So I've created a new account and I've logged into my Sleep HQ dashboard and the first thing it says is welcome to Sleep HQ and gives me a link to the data imports page. I can get to this anytime by clicking the data imports link in the menu, but this is just a little shortcut to get you there when you first sign up. The first thing I need to do is select my machine type. So we've got a little drop down here. It's going to show all of the machines that we currently support. So at the moment, that's the Philips Dream Station and a couple of the ResMed machines. So you can select your machine. So when we've got ResMed Series 10, that's any of the uh, ResMed 10 machines. So like an AirSense 10 or an AirCurve 10. If you've got an AirSense 11, then you would select a Series 11 machine. I'm going to be importing data from my Series 10 machine today, so I'm going to go ahead and select my Series 10 machine there. And now it's taking me over to the file upload window. So what I need to do now is insert my SD card into my computer using an SD card reader. So you can buy these off eBay. Any SD card reader is going to work. Uh, just be aware that some of the cheaper ones might be a little slower. So if you're uploading a lot of data, then your SD card reader actually makes a difference. So I've inserted my SD card and I've got a new window over here. This is just a finder window because I'm on a Mac. But if you're on a Windows PC, uh, you'll be able to bring up your SD card reader just in like an Explorer window. And it's going to show you all of the files and folders that are on your SD card. So normally what I would do is just select everything there and click and drag it straight in. We've got these little reminders over here that show you all of the files and folders that you need to add. So just to show you how that works, I'm going to add everything one at a time. So I'm going to drag in my data log folder, and you can see that's now been checked off. And then we've got these two different identification files. I'm going to drag both of them in, and you can see they're both checked off. We've got our settings folder and also an str.edf file. And so everything is now checked off there. If I've missed something, we'll do that again. If I've missed something, say I only drag in my data log folder and I try to begin my upload, I'm going to get a warning here that's going to tell me which files and folders I've missed. And I can ignore it. I can hit OK if you're sure that what you're doing is going to work. Otherwise, you can hit Cancel and go back into your Finder window, select everything that you need to add, drag it in, and then hit Begin Upload. Now, the very first time that you do this, it might take a little while because it's got a lot of data to upload. However, every time you upload new files, the system will automatically keep track of everything that you've uploaded previously. So drag in your entire SD card every time. And what you'll notice is that this window will progress much, much faster. It's going to jump up to say 80, 90, 95% uh, because it's only, going to it's only going to actually upload anything that's new or files that have changed since the last time you did an upload. So really easy. Just drag in everything off your SD card. It'll make sure that you don't ever miss any files or folders. The system will always just check to see if you've already uploaded that file. If it has, it just gets checked off automatically. Okay, I'm going to let, get, let that upload and then we'll uh, we'll come back. Okay, my data's just finished importing and now the next step in the process is this, the server now needs to process all of my files. Uh, at this point, you can now click away from the web page. You can close your browser if you want and come back to it later on. Depending on how much data you've added, it might take sort of five, maybe 10 minutes if it's a lot of data that you've added. Uh, you can see the progress of it down here. So what it will do is break your data up into chunks. So right now, my data is being processed from uh, January 1st. It does it in about one month chunks, just to, depending on the machine that you've got and how much data you're adding. So that's going to process in the background for me. I'll get a little notification when it's done. I can click around the app and do some exploring if I've already got data in there. Otherwise, like I said, I can shut it down, just come back in five, 10 minutes, and then everything will be there ready to go for you to start uh, exploring and analyzing your data. One last point, if you've got different machines and you're uploading data from a different type of machine, once you've uploaded data from one type of machine, the system is going to remember that and automatically drop you back into this page. So it's remembered that my last import was from a ResMed Series 10 machine. And so when I come back to import data next time, I'm going to be taken straight here. If I'm uploading data from a different machine, though, all I need to do is click this change button. And it's going to take me back to step one where I can select that maybe say I've got a dream station machine at my holiday house. And now I'm going to upload some data from a different machine into here. Uh, so that's it, guys. I hope that helps. Uh, please remember to stay in touch. If you have any questions or uh, any issues with that, get in touch using the uh, email address in the help center. All right, guys, have a good one.